as we mentioned in the previous shiurim, the prohibition of yichud does not apply in situations that lack privacy. And therefore, our issue of yichud in an automobile, when a man and woman are traveling together in a car, would hinge on the definition of privacy. There's a tshuva called Taras Yontov, in which many different poskim are quoted on this issue of a man and a woman traveling together in a car. And the first tshuva is Rav Yosef Grunwald, otherwise known as the Pupa Rebbe, who passed away just recently. And he permits Yichud in a car for that very same reason. He claims that this is public. Obviously, the windows are transparent. They have to be in this case. And he allows men and women, a man and a woman to drive together, travel together by car. However, he limits this head there to the fact that there are passers-by, whether it be by day or by night. It's apparent that, according to the Rebbe, if they were together in a deserted area during the day, traveling through some park or whatever have you, or at night, when there are very few passers-by in the street, it would not be permissible. The same might be true in side streets during the night, or streets that aren't well lit. In all these cases, there's an element of privacy. No one is there to see what's going on. It doesn't matter whether it's by day or by night. However, there's another important shuva on this issue, which was written by Rabbi Nasha Klein, the, min, the, uh, the Mishnah Halachos. And according to him, in our day and age, since there's a steady flow of traffic almost at any time during the day, the, the roads are well lit, there's no Easter of Yichud even when driving at night. However, Rav Klein expresses the opinion that there's no absolute rule in this regard and it really depends on the particular situation. If there's no traffic at all, then Yichud in a car would be prohibited even by day. If on the other hand there is traffic, then Yichud would be permissible even at night. However, there's a very important shuva of the Igros Moshe of Moshe Feinstein in which he takes a stricter view. This is an Eben Ezer Chelek Dalit. He says that a man and a woman should not be driving in a car together even during the daytime, even if there are many cars on the road, because the driver might veer off from the main road into a deserted area and be secluded with her. Now here Moshe admits that technically there is no Isra Yichud. We don't suspect a kosher who's an, a, a citizen who, of the Jewish people who, to whom the law is, 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 is the word of, of God to deliberately and actively create a situation of Yichud. Moreover, when driving there's technically no Isra Yichud because people can observe what's happening inside the automobile. Nonetheless, it should be avoided except in situations of great need. So here we have a case in which the technical halacha is mutter, but not advisable, not recommended. However, Rabosha says that what is considered great need, who knows, but Rabosha says no. If a woman would solicit a ride from a Jewish man, and the man is going in that direction, she might consider it cruel if he didn't give her a lift, then it would be permissible, assuming people could see what's going on in the car, there are passes by. Another situation is even if a non-Jewish woman asks a Jewish man to, uh, for, for a lift, we don't want to create enmity amongst non-Jews, that would be extenuating circumstances. In that same tshuva of Taras Yom Tov, the tzel in a Rebbe, his name is Revlevi Yitzchak Grinwald, is quoted as expressing a similar view to Rav Moshe. He says, despite the fact that the driver is preoccupied with his driving and is, no, is in no position to actively commit an immoral act, nevertheless he can at any moment pull the car over to the side of the road. However, Rav Grunwald only prohibits driving at night. Or, whether it be through dark streets or intercity highways, in those situations, because of darkness, therefore people can't see what's going on inside, they were afraid that he might veer off to the side of the road. A 
the question is, in Pesach Pasuch Rishus Rabbim, we never found that the halacha is concerned with the possibility that someone might actively create a yichud situation. But the answer is, I believe, that what the Tzalem Rebbe is claiming is that in this situation where he and she are covered in the mantle of darkness, inter city at night or on side streets, deserted streets, even within the city, the darkness itself creates a situation of Yichud. Once in that situation of Yichud, you cannot claim, well, he's busy driving, and therefore there's no possibility of a sexual act. The answer is, that situation in which he's driving is just temporary. The halacha doesn't concern itself with this. So the Rebbe indicates this by the fact that he can veer off to the side of the road and stop driving. There is, however, a tshuva of the Tzitz Eliezer. We mentioned him in the previous